What's up, YouTube Revolution? Zomfect Gaming 349 at your fingertips. Just before we jump into this Fear the Walking Dead video, if you're a The Walking Dead fan and enjoy The Walking Dead content, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you're a gamer, consider subscribing as well. And ding that bell icon really hard so I can always stay within fast reach of your fingertips when new uploads arrive. Alright, so by the looks of Season 7, Victor Strand looks like he is taking on more of a villainous role, like full-on villain. Sure, Victor is one of our main characters that we've been following since Season 1 of Fear the Walking Dead, but Victor has done some not-so-great things throughout the show that makes him a bit of a villain. The Walking Dead's universe is all about perspective. When we follow the perspective of the characters we follow, we always look at them as the good guys. But really sometimes the villains that our good guys been fighting are actually the good guys when we see it from the villains perspective. That just goes to show you that in the Walking Dead universe, there's really no good guy at all. So with Fear the Walking Dead really marketing season 7 to being all about Morgan Jones versus Victor Strand, especially in the midst of the aftermath of the nuclear fallout, this is going to be crazy. I don't know how much in depth they will focus on the Morgan Jones versus Victor Strand storyline, but it's kind of reminding me of the from the original The Walking Dead in season 8 when there was the Rick Grimes versus Negan poster. This is this picture right here exactly reminds me of that. I wonder if this is kind of a callback to that. But I've seen lots of people saying, what if Morgan kills Victor Strand, a season one character we've been following for a very long time. To be honest, it would be a fitting end in karma catching up to Victor Strand. But to me, I think Victor needs more storyline saved for the future, especially in one of the Walking Dead movies. We lost a lot of season one Fear the Walking Dead characters. Even Fear the Walking Dead has lost more of its Season 1 characters much earlier on compared to the original The Walking Dead. And since Victor is one of these iconic characters left from Season 1, there's only Victor, Daniel, and Alicia left on Fear the Walking Dead now. Which means a lot of the Season 1 characters were killed off extremely early. And Victor has the charisma just like Negan from The Walking Dead. But sure, yes. Victor can be very different in a way compared to Negan. Negan saves people because he looks at himself as a savior, whereas Victor looks at himself as the man who will throw others to the wolves to ensure his survival long term in this world. The only thing that Negan and Victor have in common is the strong charisma. But let's get back to topic, Morgan versus Victor. I think Morgan might just get into some crazy fights with Victor, kind of like the ones Rick had with Negan and Morgan will get close to killing Victor, but knowing Victor, he knows his ways of throwing people to the wolves like what he will do with Morgan. And we know Morgan in his famous line, he doesn't die. So Morgan will definitely have some strong plot armor and escape whatever Victor pushes Morgan into. But let's say what if it was Victor's last episodes coming up and maybe it's his last season. We all know that CRM are in the area to investigate the nuclear blast area. What if Victor gets injured badly and CRM are able to swoop him up and extract him by helicopter or convinces a CRM soldier that he needs to leave and extracts him out by convincing the soldier that he wants to join up with the CRM and let's just say before this for this to happen he makes deals with CRM soldiers by doing a trade system secretly and so Victor uses CRM as his get out of jail free card. So he ends up being off the hook and gets away from Morgan and the rest of the Fear the Walking Dead group and just saves Victor Strand as a villain for one of the movies like a higher up officer at the CRM and eventually whenever Morgan and some of the Fear the Walking Dead group make it to one of the movies they notice Victor is one of the people in charge there. This gives the opportunity for more iconic The Walking Dead characters and Fear the Walking Dead characters to eventually meet each other which I think it would be awesome and well needed, especially if Rick meets Victor and meets some of the fear group 
And maybe what if some of the original The Walking Dead characters go to one of the movies too? Like Negan, if he survives season 11 and meets Victor Strand, this would be very interesting to see them meet. A big The Walking Dead universe reunion is much needed, I gotta say, since a lot of people died on both shows already, but I understand it's The Walking Dead people die and I still watch since I know what is expected in this kind of series. I'm not expecting Victor Strand to survive the feud that Morgan and Victor are gonna be having, but just saying it could go either way. Strand gets killed by Morgan or by one of Morgan's people or gets away or they take the forgiveness route which has been used a bit too much by Morgan on Fear the Walking Dead. So if they want to keep more, I mean, Victor alive, I think the best way is for CRM to recruit Victor and take him away from fear by leaving his story open-ended. But that's all I wanted to talk about. Just remember, if you're a The Walking Dead fan, consider subscribing. And if you're a gamer, consider subscribing to the channel as well. And ding that bell icon really hard so I can always stay within fast reach of your fingertips when new uploads arrive. Zompacta Gaming 349, over and out. Hello!